Hey Makers, I'm Anna Kazunas France, Digital Fabrication Editor for Maker Media, and I'm here with Bree Pettis of MakerBot Industries. They just unveiled three new 3D printers at CES, and uh, Bree's going to tell us a little bit about them. Bree? Cool. So, um, we just launched three printers, but actually it's interesting. It's really the MakerBot 3D printing platform. They all have the same electronics inside, they have the same software behind them. Each of them has a smart extruder which can message you when you need to add more filament. Each of them have a camera on them so that you can uh, monitor your pin progress and it'll also like, make it easy to share your latest creation on social networks. So tell me a little bit more about the camera and monitoring your prints. How does that work? So the, all, the 3D printers are all networked. So they all have wireless and are networked so you can connect to them. And the whole idea is to make it so you, you, you're always connected to your MakerBot 3D printer. And it's neat, you pull up it, you, you, get, you download the MakerBot application for your phone, and then you just open it up and you can see, what you're, see the progress of where it is right now, no matter where you are, whether you're right next to the printer or you've gone to go get a cup of tea. Fantastic. Um, can you tell us a little bit about each of these models and what the differences are? Sure, so in many ways, they're the same machine, just different sizes. There are a few features that we added as we go up. This one is really the one for like people getting started. It's 1375, great place to start. And I'm just so happy with the way it looks too. And it's just got one button, it's it's one touch 3D printing is what we're calling it. The MakerBot Replicator is our the next generation MakerBot Replicator. This is uh, for prosumers, this is for people who want to build platform that's eight by ten by six inches tall. And it's got this luscious display, this 3.5 inch color display, and this this knob, we actually worked really hard on this knob. We wanted it to feel really good. So, you know, just on the theme of like, it should just be seamless to get your ideas out of your head and make them. So a move away from the buttons and, and into the knob. It's still got buttons, but we wanted to have a really nice, we just like the way the knob feels. And it's, it, it, look, it works really well. It's kind of like high-end stereo equipment kind of a feel. Excellent. And tell us about the, the final printer they've launched. Bam. <laughs> We've got the MakerBot Replicator Z18. This is build volume of 12 by 12 by 18 inches. It's got a heated build chamber to reduce uh, warpage and keep everything dimensionally stable. And this is, uh, it's been interesting here at the show to get feedback. Since it's the consumer electronics show, I was kind of expecting this to run away, but everybody sees that big machine and goes, oh. It's huge. Yeah, I could make a model of my head life size or my family's head, or I could make you know, helmets or. Do you have a, actually have a helmet in there right now? We do. It's fantastic. And you know, the sci-fi um, prop makers, the prop makers, they're like over the moon. So, so you've gotten a big response from them. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, we originally started and we made 3D printers that were kits, primarily for the hobbyists. Then last year we were focused on the prosumer. And now we're just not messing around, we're making 3D printers for everyone. And the whole idea is to unlock people's creativity. For people who are already reading the Make Magazine blog and Read right. Mag Magazine, you know, it's a no-brainer, they know all about this. But for the rest of the world, we have to bring them along and allow them to have that same rush that makers feel when they make something. We have to make it easy and friendly so they're not scared to jump into the creative process. Fantastic, and I just wanted to ask you, we're going around asking everyone, is making going mainstream? What do you think about that? You know, I think uh, that's what I'm dedicating my life to, is to empowering everyone to have that same creative rush that you get when you make something new. You know, when I was a kid and I fixed my bicycle, I just, you know, it just makes you feel so good. And when you make something on a MakerBot, you get that same feeling. I want, I want everybody to have that experience. Excellent. Well, thanks, Bree. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. I really appreciate it. And uh, great, always a pleasure.